I spent some time away from the church for quite a few years, um, and I went through, you know, a good 10 years of really a, a dark place, uh, depression, uh, really heavily drug addiction, you know, basically one drug to the next. Curiosity, you know, kind of brought me through the doors. Uh, I mean, I slept under a bridge one night over close to here just so I can attend church. Uh, just uh, longing for that sense of community, I guess. Um, um, trying to find something different where I feel welcome and loved and came in dirty and everything. I think that's the time I met Sterling. I, you know, poked my head in the door, you know, at like right before nine o'clock and Hey, how you guys doing? You know, just curiosity. And then I came a little earlier next time. I came about 8.30 instead of 9.30 or so. And I, I saw something different. You know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't see the same old church I walked away from and that I was, you know, scrutinizing and judging. You know, I, I was able to see the love of God in other people. I was recently, uh, without a home. And I stayed with uh, Sterling and Lindy, you know, for a few days, and then one of my other friends opened up his home, and not one second was I scared because of that sense of community I found in this church. I was able to uh, help lead an outreach uh, downtown, basically where um, all of us uh, just bought some lunch meat, some food, um, I, I told everybody to bring extra clothes from the house and we walked around with signs that said free hugs and prayer and uh, we came across the guy carrying a big hockey stick. He had some shoes that were too small for him on his feet and I was like, hey man, do you, do you need some shoes? And I, I just so happened to have a pair of shoes in my bag. Uh, I was able to pull these shoes out um, and he's like, hey man, can you help me put them on? Because he had these big giant abscesses on his hands from where he just shot drugs. You know, me and Hannah kneel down, each get grabbing a foot, you know, and uh, putting these shoes on. And, uh, you know, I, I was able to show him a scar on my right hand where I shot drugs into it and I missed. And, uh, you know, I had an abscess as well. And I was like, man, brother, you know, like you can die from that, you know? And I just really was showing compassion. I was like, wow, you know, and we're, we're continuing to put the shoes on. And he's like, hey man, uh, I don't want to sound blasphemous or nothing right now, but you know, yeah, you guys remind me of Jesus. I got home that night and I mean, I was literally drunk off the spirit. Uh, I've, I've never felt a better high than uh, just from the love that was inside me, you know, um, through loving other people and showing compassion is how we connect with God. One of the most powerful experiences I've ever had in my life and had I not connected with Sterling and Lindy and the City Point Young Adults, you know, who knows what road I might have went down. And it, it's just a living testimony of what the community at this church has done for me.